Hello Virgo, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. We're working with the Thoth Tarot this week, going to do a Celtic cross for you Virgo. Keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may not resonate for every Virgo out there. Watch for your sun, moon, and rising sign for a full picture. But do use your own intuition to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay. Making sure you can get a good view of the cards here, Virgo. Okay, three of wands here on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so I definitely feel like we are opening up right now to the possibilities, maybe, you know, planning for our future in this current moment. This is over our entire reading, so. Now getting into our current reality, our current energy here, Prince of Wands. Okay, so Virgo, I feel like we're really moving forward in a way here. Okay, we've got a lot going on actually in our life right now, Virgo. So we are trying to move forward on something that we are very passionate here with the Prince of Wands. With the Two of Pentacles, you know, we're maybe starting a new job, but this is really indicating that we're having to juggle multiple tasks, taking care of our home, taking care of our job, work, and play, all of this, right? We're, we're doing the juggle. The Queen of Cups is on the bottom, so I do feel like there is also people around you that are in need of love, care, okay? So we're also like holding a lot of emotional space for the people in our environment right now. Okay, so that's a lot. Now our challenge here is the Four of Cups luxury. So I feel like, Virgo, it could be a challenge for us to really get to the next step where we're trying to go, okay? Because we could be just a little bit comfortable. You know, we just, oh my gosh, all these cards wanted to come out. That's too many, even though it's crazy. This is what wanted to come out. Okay, I guess we'll take it. We got the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles again, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you are staying in your safe space. Okay, all those fours come wanting to come out. Like, yeah, you might be a little bit comfortable where you're at, but I feel like you're blocking yourself from what you could potentially bring in, especially in your finances. Where to focus is on where you're oh my god another four can you believe it okay where to focus is where you're feeling harmony okay if you're feeling like disharmony in a place i don't know if that's a word i think it is okay yeah you need to focus on going out in your world finding new opportunities you definitely want the opportunities that feel good to you okay and I feel like all you have to do is put yourself out there. Like if you could find a safe space to do whatever it is that you want to do, I feel like opportunities would just start coming in towards you with this um, Knight of Swords, you know, opportunities, new information. So I feel like the key, though, is to find this very safe space where you're feeling very seen, right, where you're really – feeling very inspired, okay? Now, in our most recent past, we have the Empress, okay? So I love this natural progression here, moving from the three to the four, okay? But I feel like in the most recent past, we've been working on our physical home environment, making sure that we have everything we need to, you know, feel good in our body, in our home, all those sensual comforts, okay? Queen of Swords also coming out with the Two of Wands. So Virgo, I definitely feel like in the past we've 
not only have we been making things very comfortable for ourselves, but we've really started like telling the truth. Okay, and not to say that you were ever a liar, but I feel like these are like the deeper truths, right? These are truths about yourself, about your personality that allows you to put up healthy boundaries, that allows you to maneuver the way that you want to in your life, right? Because if we're saying one thing but we mean another, then that's not sending a clear message to the universe. So I feel like we've been getting much more clear in our most recent past with the messages that we are sending out into the universe about where we want to go. So it's been a bit tense also, you know, because, but in a good way, right? In an optimistic way, because we're really looking forward to the possibilities, okay? What you have going for you here is the devil, okay? So you could be a part of an organization, institution that has some sort of power here. That's, I mean, that's just an intuitive feeling that I'm getting here with the devil. Six of one, or six of cups, yeah. Strong bond, wow, and the five of swords here, Virgo. So I definitely feel like you have some pretty strong connections right now, okay? I feel like this could be multiple people. But with the five of swords, there is conflict here. And I do feel, you know, it's like this is what you have going for you. This is what's, you know, also what could be like on your mind right now. And I feel like, you know, you have the ability to let this situation go. You have the ability to understand it for what it is, okay? Like, you know, what I'm kind of feeling is like, yes, you can deal with the devil. Um, interesting energy, right? Because I'm not saying necessarily like the devil is like a bad energy. I feel like this is actually a pretty positive energy, but it just could be, there could be like some obsession here, right? Especially with the six of cups too. There can always be this infatuation with like a teacher or a mentor here. So I feel like that could have caused some conflict in your life, but you understand it. That's what you have going for you is that you actually understand. Other people might be like wanting to win at all costs, but you understand that you already won. You're already winning, okay? Prince of Cups here. This is your, you know, potential future here with the Prince of Cups. So definitely you're moving forward, right? You're moving towards your dreams, the emperor here, towards what you want to build for your life. And you will be grieving this loss, I feel right? I feel like there is a loss that we are grieving, but it's also that we can build our empire. This is another four, right? So we've had a lot of fours showing up for us. So Virgo, your stability is the most important thing. And if there is somebody coming at coming for your stability, like you're going to have to grieve the loss of that person because you have to move forward towards your dreams, towards what is fulfilling you, okay? Suggested approach here, two of cups, love, okay, wow. So I feel like focus on the friends that are doing equal give and take with you, right? Focus on the people in your life, you know, not just friends, um, coworkers, colleagues, clients, whoever it might be here, Virgo. We also have the Four of Swords coming out. So I feel like we are processing. We're kind of evaluating our friendships, kind of seeing, okay, because we are a bit wounded here with the Nine of Wands. Like, we've shown tremendous strength getting to the next phase, okay? However, you know, we're still not there yet exactly where we want to be, right? We're at the 9, not the 10. So we're still evaluating, okay? And it's another 4, right? So again, your stability is really the most important thing. You do need some time here to rest and figure out your next step, okay? 
what you need to know that two of wands coming out again here dominion okay i mean the two of wands came out of this deck so different yet similar card okay but this is the energy of dominion and i feel like what you do need to know is that it is not the time actually to move forward right it's the time to like cultivate Okay, so I know that could sound conflicting because I just said like in our potential future we're moving forward, but this is us like moving forward in a very like daydreaming type of way, right? Like we're dreaming. We are developing the plan, right? We're still in the processing phase of things, okay? But look at the sun is coming out here, the king of wands. So, I mean, you are very powerful in this moment, Virgo. It's just like the universe is wanting you to really kind of focus on a few things, okay? And we do have the three of wands on the bottom over this entire reading, right? So, you know, what you need to know is it's not time yet, even though you're probably, you know, wanting to make plans for your future and all of this because the three of wands is present and we do have this vitality here with the sun that's coming in and probably giving us a little energy but it's like use that energy to heal yourself and to like cultivate your vision is kind of what I'm feeling here okay your hopes and fears okay honey our hopes are that we can work and use our magic our fears are that we're gonna have to work and use our magic <laughs> <laughs> okay um and this could be anything right this could be something that we've really worked hard right it doesn't have to be necessarily magic although i use magic because i feel like whatever you're doing it's magic to me if you worked hard you got a degree now you're getting a job in your field wow that's the magical right so magic being very broad here oh i never put that queen of swords back maybe she wanted to come out I think she did because that's when I noticed it was when I pulled this page. Wow, okay. I'm going to reshuffle again with the Queen of Swords. <laughs> okay, but we know we have some swords coming out, right? So I feel like it could be, there could be a truth that we're having to speak in order for us to really create the life that we want here. Yeah, strength coming out, okay. We love to see that with the Eight of Swords, though. So, yeah, I do feel like there's a truth here that could be a little difficult for you to come out with, okay? I feel like we're needing to evolve here. And with the Eight of Swords, there could be just some mental blockages that we have, you know, to really step into this beautiful energy that's represented here with the strength card. Sorry. Try to give you a good view of it. Um, you know, but the strength card, this is someone who feels very good about themselves, feels very good in their body. They're very gentle, and they're able to be gentle with other people because they are gentle with themselves. They're kind to themselves. And, you know, so I feel like, there could be some some struggles with that right and your hopes and fears this is coming up so i do feel like there's a a bit of fear around like what would it really look like if you really stood in your power right <clears throat> but honestly virgo do it right because what it looks like is it looks beautiful it looks like you getting what you deserve that's what it looks like and you know when the eight of swords comes out i always like to say you know sometimes we need a little bit of help right when we're in that eight of swords energy because that's the energy of self-imposed restrictions okay we can be blocking our own progress and evolution and sometimes we need a little help, right? Maybe a trusted friend, a very trusted friend or a therapist to talk to that could be helpful. 
All right, your future here, Virgo. We have the Six of Cups, pleasure. Okay, so we love this outcome future. I'm not a future teller. You have free will, so, um, you know, you can do whatever you want after this reading. But based on the current energy of today, I really see you going towards a beautiful space here with the pleasure card coming out. Oh, my gosh, yes, Six of Swords. We're really moving on. We're understanding a, a major lesson that we've had to learn, right? It's We've worked really hard here, I feel, just to be able to learn these lessons that are going to kind of set us free, allow us to leave behind the turmoil of our past and really, truly step into you know, I feel our full potential here with the six. You know, I'm a life path six, so whenever I'm reading, I'm always going to be a little, you know, into those sixes. I just love the sixes, and I feel, you know, they're also connected to the lovers. And so the six is just when you understand yourself, when you understand others. So you could be stepping into some sort of profession where you work with other people where, you know, you're really understanding. Like, I feel like understanding other people and other people's emotions and all of that is just going to be really helpful for you. And I see you really just learning a lot from everything that's been happening in your world here, Virgo. So really, really beautiful reading here. And I'm going to pull us a sacred rebel oracle here. All right, seeing the true you, absolutely. Wow, that's beautiful, Virgo. Let's um, get into that here, card 29. Okay, seeing the true you. Sometimes we believe what others tell us we are, as though the self we see reflected back to us through their eyes is truth. Yet the accuracy of a reflection depends on the clarity of that which is doing the reflecting. If the receiver forms any opinion about what is perceived, then what is reflected back to us will at best be distorted. It is not necessarily through ill will. It is just the mechanics of the situation. Even the moon reflects the sun in varying degrees of fullness and clarity. We can learn something of nature, of the sun from the moon, but not as much as through direct perception. This oracle has come to you because you have been putting rather too much faith in the reflection others have of you, to the point that you might not be honoring all that you are and all that you are becoming because you believe too little of yourself. There may be those around you that are able to reflect you more faithfully and even help you see more of your own greatness and beauty. These are the souls blessed with inner stillness in the clear waters of their ocean of consciousness. You can come to recognize yourself with clearer perception. However, there are those who have not tended to their own ocean and are unable to be still enough to genuinely receive and reflect your light back to you. There is no judgment here. Each takes the path of self-healing that is available and appropriate at any given time. However, to attempt to see the magnificence of a sun in a very partial moon doesn't make too much sense. If you are blessed with those in your life who can show you the beauty within you, wonderful. Even so, this oracle comes to you with a task you are now ready for. You are to begin to develop the art of direct perception. This is the ability to recognize yourself not only in the eyes of others, but from how you feel about yourself, how you experience yourself, and how you observe yourself with compassion and kindness from within. This is a step toward radical empowerment, 
that does not require perfection in order for you to recognize you are lovable and have much to offer. It is empowerment based on the acceptance of all that you are, working with your strengths, tending to your weaknesses, and being loving, encouraging, and nurturing of all that you perceive. As you continue on this journey, you will not only see your human self, but the eternal within you. This is a breathtaking experience that opens you up to the creative energy that flows abundantly through all of life. It is an experience that takes great preparation because we must be strong within our own self-love and acceptance to be able to hold acceptance for all of life. This oracle is nudging you into the preparation for when you have the experience of truly beholding yourself, all judgment, fear, and doubt will fall away and you will just know yourself to be sacred. Then you will be asked to embrace the deeper journey of sacred rebellion against judgment and fear and into passionate creativity and unconditional trust in life. This oracle comes with a special message for you. If you are getting confused about who you are and your motives or actions based on what others are saying or how they are responding to you, step back. In your quest to be a responsible person, you may be unintentionally taking on the feelings of others, making their reflections of you more than they are in truth. More, than, more often than not, reflections are more about the state of the reflector and what is being reflected. Let those external perceptions go. Can you just acknowledge yourself? Do so and be free. Healing process. I'm going to go ahead and say it for you, Virgo, because you know I try to do that Catholic Church thing where I say it and give you enough time, but I'm not really that good at it. So I'm saying it for you. And you can pause the video and say it back if you need to. Okay. Say with feeling. I now break any contract I have ever made with another, consciously or unconsciously, that has given them power over me, power over my sense of self, the authority to approve or reject me, or anything about me, including my voice, body, creativity, spirituality and way of living. Of my own free will, I now choose to directly perceive my own inner beauty and turn within with kindness and compassion to see myself through the eyes of unconditional love. So be it. What a powerful card, Virgo. Wow. Sorry, did I mess it up? That was beautiful. Really, truly, Virgo. If this reading resonated for you, please leave me a comment, like, subscribe, share my channel with a friend. It means the world to me. If you want to donate to the channel, you can do so at Amy Energy on Cash App or Venmo. You can book a personal with me, amyenergy.online. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. Make sure you definitely follow me on TikTok at Amy Energy 3 because I will be going live there okay um so definitely make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity but most importantly virgo have a wonderful week i love you take care